Today we're checking out a new song from Imminence. This is a band that I am getting to know a little bit better through this channel. I've heard a couple songs here and there, and each one I've liked a little bit more than the last. We most recently checked out Continuum, and I really liked that song. Uh, but today we're checking out the brand new song, The Black, and it's kind of a long one, so let's just jump right into it. This one's going to be a slow burn. Okay. Guitar tone, bro. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, I feel like that's a motif that's gonna come back, that we're gonna get a big chorus with that guitar chugging the stuff. Eddie's vocals sound really nice here. Oh yeah. Man. I hate to say it. I hate to make this comparison. But sleep token vibes? I mean, don't shoot me, but just a little bit. Cool visualizer. Islands are beautiful. Big chorus again. From Escalation with those screen vocals in the background there. I'm interested to see where we go after this. I feel like we're gonna get a big twist, an epic bridge or something. Is that symbol again? Since the bass it's so low, subharmonic. What is about to happen? Big 
Astro. Well, Florida Shore vibes. Fade out here. Yeah. Wow. Wow, wow. That was something. I thought it was Eminence with a new track, The Black. Let's break it down. I mean, that was a really, really beautiful kind of cinematic ride. More sonically so than visually. The, the, the visualizer was very cool. But the song just felt very cinematic. It felt like I was being taken on a journey. And it went to so many interesting sonic places. I really enjoyed all the weird nuances in this song. Like I said in there, towards the middle, it's getting a little sleep token-y with the kind of contrast of the, the beauty and the heaviness. Don't shoot me for that comparison, guys. It's the first thing that came to my mind, you know? But also, I got a little bit of Lorna Shore in there in that really heavy, kind of blackened, symphonic, deathcore-y kind of section. Also, maybe a little bit of Deaf Heaven with some of those really high, distorted pitch screams. This, this song is taking inspiration from a lot of different places, and I really, really like it. This was an absolute beautiful journey, and I really enjoyed going on it. And it felt so much shorter than the six minute runtime would make you expect. I think, in terms of my favorite songs, I want to say Continuum is still at the top of my list. But this is really, really good. And it's got me excited for the new album coming out. So let me know in the comments down below if, if you want me to check out that album on the channel when it comes out. If that's something you'd like to see, let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And also let me know what you guys thought of this track in the comments down below. Love to hear your thoughts on that as well. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe. It really, really helps out the channel. Gonna do it for me today. See you in the next one.